time. Happy fall, y'all. <laughs> Welcome back to Chit Chat and Tea with Amanda Marie. I hope everybody out there is doing good. I hope you guys are in the fall mood. I hope you guys are enjoying this season that we're in. I have my tea here. Perfect peach tea. It's lovely. I love it. I have my mold cider candle going. I love the smell of it. I love autumn. I don't know about you guys, but I love autumn. It's probably my favorite season. I just love all the beautiful colors of the leaves and just all of it. I live in New England and New Hampshire, so I am spoiled this time of the year because we get such beauty with all the colors and it's just gorgeous out there. So I hope you guys like and subscribe to my channel. Um, I hope you guys are ready for a new video. This one's going to be a crochet video. And speaking of autumn, it's a crochet video on autumn leaves. Aren't these cute? So I'm going to show you guys how to make these leaves. Here's a brown one. You can hang them up. You can use them as coasters. You can hang them on garland. You can put them around your house. Whatever you want to do with them, you can do. And I have these two. These are a little bit smaller because I used a, a lighter yarn on these. And they came out smaller. Same size hook. But these are really cute too. I love them. Super cute. Very festive for this time of the year. So I hope you guys join me and try out this crochet video. I'm going to be using a size 6 hook to do this project. You don't have to use a size 6 hook. Um, you can use whatever size hook you want. And you can use whatever yarn you want. Again, I'm just using scrap yarn that I've had for just hanging around my house. So here we go. Let's get started. So we're going to start with a slip knot. Okay. Get that started. And to start, we're going to do a chain of four. So one, two, three, four. You're going to go into that first chain. You're going to yarn over, bring it through. Then you're going to go into this loop and bring it through. And there, that was a slip stitch. And you've created this little circle, okay? You want to chain one. Now what we're going to do into the circle is we're going to do 10 double crochet. Okay, so to do that you yarn over. You want to go through the center of the circle, come back through, yarn over again, go through the first two loops, yarn over, go through the last two loops. Okay, that's how we do that. Let's try it again. Yarn over, go through, yarn over, go back through, Yarn over, go through the first two. Yarn over, go through the last two. There you have two double crochet. Like I said, we need 10 of these. So three, four, five, that tail six seven eight nine 
nine, and ten. All right, so once you get your ten double crochet done, you want to just slip stitch right into, if I can find it, that first double crochet right there. So go in there, slip stitch, go through, and there you have it. Okay, now we're gonna chain one. All right, so now we're not gonna go in this stitch right here. We're gonna go in the next one, okay? So what we're going to do is we're going to single crochet, okay, that's single crochet, then in that same stitch we're going to do a half double crochet. So you yarn over, go through, yarn over, come back through, and you're, these three loops on your hook you want to go through all three of them in that same stitch you're doing that then we're going to do a double crochet in that same stitch and another half double crochet in the same stitch and then a single crochet okay there we go so that's that first little petal kind of thing. Then we're gonna skip a stitch and we're gonna go into the next stitch and we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna repeat single crochet, half double crochet, double crochet, another half double crochet, and a single crochet. Okay, and again, we're going to skip right here, skip, and then go into the next one, single, half double, double, half double, and, oops, sorry. and single okay and we're just going to keep working this um, all the way around so skip single half double double half double and single. Then we're going to skip. Okay. And go right there. Single. Half double. Double. Half double and single. Then we're just going to slip stitch right into right there. Okay. And now what we're going to do actually is make the stem. So, what we're going to do to make the stem is we're gonna do a chain of eight. So one, two, oh, actually, no, it's too early to make this stem, right? Okay. All right, guys. So now we're gonna do row two. So you want to chain one. Just get some yarn. And for this one, we're going to start with a single crochet 
right here into that next stitch, single crochet. Then you're gonna do one half double crochet. So yarn over, go through, go through all three. Then we're gonna do three double crochets into this next stitch. So one, two, three. Okay, then we're gonna do a half into the next. And a single into the next. Okay, and we're gonna repeat that. Single. Half into the next, sorry. Three double crochets into the next. So that's one, two, three. Okay. Half into the next. And a single into the next. All right. And then we're going to repeat it again because we're just going around. So single, half double, three double crochets into the next. Sorry, I went through too many right there. One, two, three, and half into the next. Oops, lost you, buddy. That happens. Half into the next and single into the next. Okay, so let's do it again. Single. Oops, single. Half. Double crochet. Three. Double crochet. So one, two, three, and then a half, and a single. Oops, single. Okay, so we have one petal left to go here. Repeat this one more time. Single. Half. Okay. Three doubles. One, two, Three. Another half. Oops, what did I do? I guess I just went in without yarning over, huh? Half. Got it. And single. And then we're going to slip stitch. Right there, slip stitch, and that completes round two. Now we're gonna make our stem. So to do that, you're gonna do, you're gonna chain eight. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. 
what you're gonna do when you get to the end of your chain of eight, you're gonna go in not into, you're gonna go into the second chain on this row. So here, not this one, not this one, but this one, okay? So you're gonna actually, we're gonna do um, a single crochet into this, just like this. Oops, this one. Okay, single crochet. And you're gonna go all the way up the row. Let me center that. All the way up, okay? So that one. And the way I do it, I just, I kind of follow it with this hand, my left hand. I hold it as I'm going up to keep it straight. Okay, single crochet all the way up. Oops, if I can get it in there. Yep, keep going up. And then when you get up to the top here, you're gonna slip stitch right into this little spot right there. Okay, slip stitch in there. And that completes the stem. Okay, this is our last round, guys. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna slip stitch right here next into the next stitch to slip stitch. We are going to do a single to the next stitch into the next stitch. We're gonna do two half double crochets. So there's one, two. Okay, into the next stitch we're gonna do a single. Okay, into the next stitch we're gonna do two double crochet. So two doubles into the next stitch. So there's one and two. Sorry about the hair, guys. It's like if it's my hair or the dog's hair or the cat's hair. <laughs> oh, it's all of our hair. Okay, so now we're going to do something called a pea coat. And how you do that is you chain three. One, two, three. You bring it down and see these two little right here? This part of the, the double, the bottom part of your double crochet, you just go right through those like that. You grab, you yarn over, you bring it through, and you just slip stitch. Just like that, okay? That's gonna give it kind of like the little point, like you see on leaves, on the different point, on the different parts of the leaf. And then you're going to do another double crochet into that same stitch. Okay, another double crochet into that same stitch. Then we're going to do two half double crochets. Oh, I lost it. I lost that one. Two, like I was saying, half double crochets. There's one. Sorry, I need more yarn here. And two. We're having issues with this, this guy, huh? There you go, two, okay. Single, the next one will be a single crochet. Can I do it? All right, and then a slip stitch. Very good. All right, we're gonna do that again. Okay, we're just gonna repeat that again. So we're gonna start single. Single crochet into the next stitch. Two half doubles into the next stitch. Two 
double crochet into the next stitch. And this is where we do our picot. So one, two, three, bring it down through that part right there at the bottom of your double crochet, yarn over, bring it through, slip stitch. Okay, another double crochet into that same stitch. Now we're going to do two half doubles into the next stitch. Single into the next stitch. And slip stitch. And we've got number two. We now what we're going to do for this part, we're going to do a little bit, something a little different than the two we just did. We're going to make it a little taller because this is like our center part for our leaf, the middle one. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a, another slip stitch. We're going to do a half double crochet. We're going to do two double crochet into the next. Okay, a single, and then we're going to do two, tri so we're going to do two triples into this one. So one, two, yarn over, go, go through, yarn over, come back up, yarn over, go through two, yarn over, go through two more yarn over go through two let's do that again okay one two bring it down yarn over come back up yarn over go through two yarn over go through two yarn over go through two then we're going to do our pico so we're going to do one two three come back down go through right there yarn over come back up and slip stitch there and we want to do one more triple into that same stitch this is all going into the same stitch so one two yarn over come back up yarn over there yarn over two more and yarn over two more and that is the pico okay then we're going to do Two double crochet into the next stitch. So one, two, and we're gonna do a half double into this stitch, and then a slip stitch. Oops, slip stitch. Okay, so that's the center part of our leaf there. Now we're just gonna finish up with repeating the two first ones that we did. We're gonna do those. So we're gonna single crochet, two half, two double crochets, one, two, pico, so one, two, three, bring it down, grab it, slip stitch, another double crochet into the same stitch, two half doubles here we go oops we missed that one okay and then a single and a slip stitch alrighty so we got one more to go and we're done so single Yep, two half doubles, two double crochet. Ooh, we lost them. Sorry, guys. Two doubles. Our pico, so chain three. 
go down, grab down here, yarn over, pull it through, slip stitch, and then one more double crochet all into that same stitch. And then we're gonna do two half doubles into the next stitch. This can get a little confusing because of its, but I'm telling you, if I can do it, anybody can do it. That was a single, and then we're gonna finish up with that. It's another single, just till we get to the end here. And then we're gonna slip stitch. And voila, tie it off, Get the scissors here. Tie this off and there you have your leaf guys okay it's not too bad not too hard and I'm just going to show you real quick how to hide your um, tail so I'm gonna cut a little bit more off this you just um, Yarn your yarn your <laughs> yarn your needle, I guess. Yeah, I guess that's what you would say. Um, you're gonna just go in, go out, go in, go out like this, kind of follow, you know, follow the Just follow the stitches along the line here. And then I always, you know, you want to kind of end out in the back part, the back of the leaf. And then just cut. You can go as far as you want. You just cut it there. You can't even see that it's in there. And then this back part, you can tighten that up where you did your circle. Okay. And you can tie it off. And the same idea, you can just you know, actually I cut it a little too short. Oops. I might need to get my I have smaller I have smaller um, yarn needles that I would have to use to do that because I cut it a little too short guys. But anyway, that is our finished product. Okay, so like I said, guys, I hope you like and subscribe to my channel. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it wasn't too confusing. I hope you guys like these leaves. Like I said, they're super cute. You can do so many different things with them. And I hope everybody has a great night, great day, wherever, whatever it is for you. God bless. See you next time.